Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we are going to be looking at the new wallpaper stack and all of the new layout settings and how you can size and position it and all that kind of jazz. So without further ado, let's dive in. So as you probably know, wallpaper ships with three stacks. However, in this particular video, we're only gonna be looking at the layout and settings, basically everything other than the background, okay? Um, so we're gonna be looking at all the sizing and borders and stuff like that uh, about the wallpaper stack. So first off, we have border. This is pretty obvious, right? Uh, we have border settings, so you can change the border color, the border size, and you can make it have round borders, right? Round corners. And if you click on these little plus buttons, just as you might expect, you have a lot of various detailed settings so you could set the border width on each individual side. So top, bottom, left, right. And same thing on the corners. You could have individual round corners and you can also change the units, whether or not you want percentages or pixels. But for now, we're just gonna uh, turn off these detailed settings and uh, leave that as it is right there. So next up is the layout settings and all the various things that we can do with layout. Um, height auto, that's gonna behave exactly as you would think of this as a one column stack, right? where um, it will, the height will be dependent upon the contents that you put in it, right? And just as you have in a one column stack, we have margin settings. So you can have the margin all around the, so you can put margins all around the entire stack. And you can also increase the padding, right? Which is the space between the border and the content, okay? Now, just as before, you click on the plus buttons and we have nice detailed settings for margin and padding. So you can have different margin and padding on all sides, as well as change the units from pixels to percentages. Um, proportional means basically it'll, depending on the width of the browser, that will expand and contract, okay? And then rem, if units, if you're familiar with foundation, you already know what a rem unit is. Essentially one rem is 16 pixels. Um, I'm gonna go over some of the other obvious settings such as hide the stack, right? So visibility, we can hide this on mobile, hide it on tablet, hide it on desktop or any combination of those, okay? So if you wanna hide this wallpaper stack on a particular device, you can go ahead and use these visibility settings. Should I show you how all this works actually? Let's just go ahead and add in some, um, we'll just add some text in there, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and add some text into this wallpaper. And uh, what we'll see is, uh, I have uh, my margin set to 20 pixels. Let's go ahead and just put padding at 20 pixels as well. And if we preview this, you'll see that the height of this container uh, of, you'll see that, now if we preview this page, we'll see that the height of wallpaper is equal to the actual content size, right? So, well, we have 20 pixels of padding. And if we remove that padding, you'll notice that the content goes exactly right up to the border, right? Obviously that's, that might be what you want, might not be what you want, depends on what you're designing, right? Obviously for text, it doesn't really look all that great. But um, so, but the point here is that the height, what the height auto does, right? This height auto will only size wallpaper to be the height of the content, okay? So let's go to the next, next level. We see that we have the ability to do height variable. So height variable is going to be a percentage of the height of the current viewport, okay? So in this instance, um, the default is set the height of 40%, okay? So that means that this wallpaper will take up 40% of the height of uh, this particular browser window. So if I were to resize this, we'll see that wallpaper is changing its height based on the height of the browser, right? This is great for like banners and things of like nature, right? Stuff that's kind of on the top of your page and you want it to, you know, to be big, but you don't want it to be big on all devices. So basically on smaller devices, you want it to be a little smaller, right? So this is a great way of, of sizing your content with a uh, height percentage, okay, with a variable height. Now also notice that we have limits here. So we can limit it because maybe we don't want it to be too big, right? or too small either. So you can set the minimum and maximum height that it will be. So in this instance, it's 40% high. It will be a minimum of 200 pixels tall and a maximum of 500 pixels tall, right? 
A really apparent example of this is if I set the height to be 100%, right? What that's going to do, it's going to set wallpaper to be 100% height of the browser window, okay? Um, actually, let's go ahead and I'm gonna tweak this a little bit so that uh, I'm gonna take off the borders. We're gonna take off the round corners and we're gonna remove the, the margin, okay? And now when I preview this, it's gonna be 100% height, right? But remember the min is set to 200, the max is set to 500. What's gonna happen? So here, um, now I'm in, found, in a foundation theme right now. So um, this wallpaper is gonna go full width depending on, on what your browser is um, or what theme you're using, um, it might not, right? So here I have it set to 100% height, but it didn't go 100% height. That's because I set the max to be 500 pixels. So if you really want the uh, wallpaper to always be 100% height, basically what you're gonna wanna do is just set this maximum to be something big, right? I mean, here I'm just gonna set it to 5,000, okay? And what you'll see now is that wallpaper is now 100% height of the browser window. So here we have, we have three wallpaper stacks. All of them are set to have a height of 100%, okay? Uh, with maximums of 2,000 2, pixels. So basically we're ensuring that every wallpaper is gonna be 100% height, right? So th what this is gonna give us is, it's, we can now scroll down the page and we'll see that wallpaper is 100% height on all of these, right? So very cool. Uh, you know, this is a, a style of website that, you know, a lot of people, you know, like to create. You'll see how easy that is, um, you know, with wallpaper. Now, obviously, if we if we were to set this to be, you know, 80% um, height on that, you know, this top one is going to be 80 and so on and so forth, right? I think you get the point. Um, so this variable height is very powerful, especially with these minimum and maximum values. Now, what you might have noticed is this wallpaper, the content was centered by default. So when I, I made this um, be 80% height, this text is always going to be centered within wallpaper. We can we have the adjustment for that, right? So in this align content setting, uh, we're going to set it to the top. We could we can have the, all the content aligned to the top. We can also have the content aligned to the bottom, right? So most of the time you're probably going to want centered, but depending on what your layout is and what you're trying to accomplish, um, you might want to have it top or bottom. Okay. Now the next height option here is called 100%. Now you might think that that means 100% the browser height, but it doesn't, okay? Um, if you ever wanna do based on the browser window, you're gonna wanna use variable height, okay? And set that to be 100. What 100% means, it basically means full height. It's going to take up the entire height of a particular container that it's within. Now, the real use case of this is sort of, if you have you know a lot of grids, there's going to be a lot of really great grid, uh, you know, components and stacks coming out that allow you to, you know, grid things automatically on your page. And those are awesome, except a lot of times you might want the background to be 100% height, right? So what I can do is, for instance, in Total CMS 2, um, which as of this recording is currently in private beta, okay, but in there, there's a stack called Infinity Grid. And inside there, there is a grid that the content can be variable height inside that grid. It's going to grow as tall as that particular container can be, okay? So right now, I'm gonna show you a use case of that using the static height stack, which is free on my website. Um, but just to kind of show you that a wallpaper is gonna grow to the height of a container. So if you ever use a stack, um, you know, such as, you know, the total CMS2 grids coming out, or any other stack where you want wallpaper to stretch to the height of something, um, try out this 100% height. Okay, here we are. I'm gonna add my static height stack to the page. Okay, let's go ahead and close this out. And I'm gonna add, make this um, be 800 pixels tall. Okay, uh, and then I'm gonna add wallpaper inside of it. And just for, learning sake, I'm gonna set the height of wallpaper to be auto. And let's go ahead and set the background color of um, static height to be a color. So this background is gray. So we're gonna preview this. And what you'll see here is static height is gray, okay? And wallpaper up at the top, even, I should have picked a, maybe a, 
a better contrasting color here. We're going to pick something. So wallpaper is only going, you know, the height of the its content because we set it to be auto. Um, so let's go ahead and I'm going to go into wallpaper and set this to be 100% height. And we're going to align the content to the middle. Let's go preview. And there it goes. That ugly yellow is gone, um, but that yellow is only to show us that wallpaper is now taking up 100% height of its parent container, right? So um, this is probably not a very huge use case. You're probably not going to use this very often, but when you need this, um, this feature in wallpaper is very powerful. Now, one thing I wanted to show you is that so far in all of these examples, wallpaper has been full width, right? But it doesn't need to be, right? You can use wallpaper wherever you want, right? So here I have a two column stack. Each has a wallpaper in it. Um, and, you know, maybe we add a, you know, add the borders into it a little bit. Maybe make some round corners uh, here. Let's go ahead and just copy that over, right? And we preview that. There we go, right? So you can use wallpaper in a lot of different ways, not just for like, you know, full on, you know, full screen banners. Um, you know, you can really use it and size it. And even inside here, you can set this to be, you know, variable height. Um, so if I set that to be variable height and, you know, set it to be, you know, 50% height, the browser window, right? That's going to grow that particular container to be 50% high of the browser window, right? Um, but it stays within that two column stack, right? So um, all of these layouts and, you know, you can mix and match all of these, uh, right? So you don't need to, don't shoehorn yourself into thinking that wallpaper is just for big banners. No, if you want to, you know, size, maybe a, a nice little content box within your content, you know, feel free to do that, right? It, it, wallpaper is a very flexible tool. Um, and as soon as you start playing around with the background settings, which we have in other tutorial videos, so the last settings that I, I kind of skipped over so far is at the very bottom, we have some advanced settings. Um, here we have a class setting. And what this does is whatever you type in here, this is, um, if you're familiar with any sort of coding, um, if you, you can apply whatever class you want or classes um, to wallpaper. And that, that will allow you to maybe to define your own custom CSS styles or if you're using some JavaScript that you wanna you know, apply or use that class, right? Um, this, this will make it useful for you. The next setting is for foundation styles, right? So if you are using foundation, you know that you can use color schemes inside of all the column stacks. Well, you can now apply those color schemes to wallpaper as well. So if you want all of the content within wallpaper to be your alternate colors, uh, you can do that, or you can use the various uh, swatches available within foundation, right? So this will style all the text and content within that this particular wallpaper with all the content from swatch one. Now this last setting, custom total CMS object link, this is something specific for total CMS two. Um, if you want to use this within total CMS two grids, um, this will allow you to link, basically turn wallpaper into one big link for the object that you're importing from the CMS. So that pretty much does it for this video for the wallpaper layout settings. Right. Um, as you see, wallpaper is a very good tool. It gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of how you want to use it in terms of sizing and, you know, and things of that nature. Right now, make sure you check out the other two videos that we have on gradients and um, patterns. Right. So you're, you're going to want to check those out because those really are the beautiful part of wallpaper. Right. Um, this was kind of like the functional stuff, like how do you make it functional? Right. But the other two videos on gradients and patterns are really what you're gonna to wanna to use to really make your website shine. So I hope you enjoyed this video and we will talk to you later, bye.